Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the put API. So these are some key points of the video that we, are, that we are going to discuss through this video. So first of all we will learn that what is the put method and put API and why we have to use it. After that I will make a function inside the controller and these controller are made in the last video. Controller and the model uh, both alright and uh, after that uh, i have to make the route for this function and write some code for api we will i will pass some data from the api and test it and we will check on the database is it working on or not and after that i will provide the authentication on this api all right so now let's uh, start with the first of all i'm just going to show you the database and uh, uh, let's see discuss uh, the first question first of all actually put method is used for updating the APIs as you know for the get the data or uh, retrieve the data we use the get method for insert the data we will use the post method and for update the data we have to use the put API with the put method all right and uh, I will update something in my database and I just show you my the database here and I if you don't watch our previous video then you can watch our previous video also the link is given in the description box so here I have the products table and here I have the category and I have the name and ID so I will update and category with the base of ID right so like uh, on the ID of six there is a category blah blah so this is actually inserted the wrong we can say that and I will update it at the uh, my mobile phone all right so now uh, let's see with the next point so now the all points are related to the code so i'm just going to jump directly on the code so in the last video i this uh, i actually this products uh, uh, controller name is products in the last video which is I, which is i made so in this uh, controller i will make a function with the name of update and here I will pass the data of uh, request which is the dollar req as a variable name so here I will just simply return first of all just check that what I am just getting the data and parameters from the API which is return dollar req and simply input all right and after doing this uh, this is my previous one so I will write it from the scratch this is my uh, uh, postman so I'm just going to select here post and uh, before that I have to make the route sorry I just forget it and for go on uh, inside the uh, routes folder and just click on the api.php and make some routes are already made here so let's make one more so I just change it as input and request method I can just write the products let's say simply product and uh, the controller name is as you know is a products and our function name is update right so I have to just use the product as an endpoint so just write here localhost register and just replace it with the products and try to hit it now you can see that we got the no data or blank uh, response because we don't have data to send here so let's send some data so as we know that I uh, we need the ID and uh, category ID for update so I'm just going to pass here ID as 6 and my category now the new category will be like LED all right so now let's try to send it now you can see that we got this data inside the controller because it's returned the request here all right so now let's start with the code so just write here dollar product and our model name is as you can see there it's a product for guys if you don't know how we make the model and how we make the controller then you must have to watch our previous two or three video in this video I make the basic API with API authentication helpers and all so you can watch them also it's a uh, pretty nice and here just use the find method inside the find just pass a dollar req and id okay and with that now use the product
uh, product variable and just write her category because in our category which is the database here I have to uh, put the requested category okay so just write here dollar req and just write a category okay and this category is actually belongs to uh, postman's category okay this one so now just uh, everything is fine now let's write here if product sorry dollar product save is true then uh, we got the response and it should be return an any array like uh, result is success and second one like masses can be we can put here like uh, mm -mm -mm -mm. data is updated that's good now let's see when I'm just hitting the data now you can see that we got the success message and is it uh, fine that uh, th just after check, uh, refreshing it is this data is changed or not now let's see now you can see that we the data is changed here okay so all right so now let's try to update one more like update with the ID of three is three ID is present here no ID 11 is present here now let's try to put it LED now you can still see that now we got the two LED categories okay so this is all about how we can use the put request and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video bye bye